delighted to be joined now by a developer, Phil Stewardson. And Phil, really great to have you here in person because you're such a respected contributor on Property Tribes. Um, just very interested to know, you've mainly operated in the buy to sell space. What are your thoughts on the new tax changes for landlords and are they going to sort of affect your strategy in any way? Um, I don't think they'll affect our strategy. We're, we're constantly, uh, our strategy is constantly evolving. Uh, up until the credit crunch, we held pretty much everything we bought. Between the credit crunch and probably last Christmas, uh, we sold everything. We, we, we continued buying as we were, sort of. Uh, a property every new, every two to three weeks. Uh, now we are probably holding half of what we're buying, and, and the intention is to grow the strategy, uh, grow the portfolio quite aggressively over the next 12 to 18 months. Um, we we're sort of going in full circle, really. When we originally started, we had an aim to possibly um, build the portfolio to a reasonable size to float on AIM uh, and we're looking at that again now and see that as a possibility. There's, there's definitely going to be really good growth over the next two to three years. We may take that as a, as a, a way out or um, but certainly it's, it's the perfect time to buy I'm absolutely certain of that. Oh, that's very good to hear and give us a kind of um kind of idea of the scale of your projects because you you do everything from just a basic refurb of a terraced house right up to bigger commercial projects don't you absolutely if it, we always say if there's an angle we'll do it and that's anything it will buy farmland we'll buy um uh, commercial uh, be it industrial re uh, retail or mixed use schemes we've done lots and lots of pubs in the past we've bought uh, public libraries we've bought a job center we'll buy absolutely anything um, as long as we can come up with a, a, a sort of return on it and we can come up with more than one use so that we've got a backup plan, mm -hmm. um, we will buy anything. Mm -hmm. What's your kind of favourite area at the moment? Because you tend to kind of go into an area and really sort of dominate that and then move to another area. Are you kind of looking around for new areas or are you focusing in one particular town? Um, no, we've um, at the beginning of the year we started buying further afield. Mm -hmm. Um, we'd, we'd already got a couple of properties out as far as Stafford. We've moved further north into Lancashire mm -hmm. and we're committed to quite um, an aggressive acquisition programme in Lancashire. We've bought probably 20 in the past year um, and w we'll just keep on with that strategy really. We're buying around by our office within a 10 mile radius, so from the edge of Birmingham through to the black country. Uh, we're buying uh, residential houses, two and three bed houses, definitely. That, that's, we're always looking for those. Um, the worst condition, the better. And then we've got a team of lads that we'll send in, refurb them, and then evaluate each project. But as I say, we're probably keeping half and selling half. We we'll sell some just to keep um, our funders happy, show them that what we're doing works and that we can generate the profits. But where we can, we'll be holding them and, um, and I'm sure in two to three years' time we're going to look back and see, I think everyone will be saying, I wish I'd bought more. Mm, that's very interesting. So you're actually feeling very positive about the future? I was, I'm certainly very positive. I was until Saturday to Mr Corbyn uh, one. Um, quite, I, I think we really need to see how he's going to progress, what's going to happen there. And I think in two to three years' time, if he's still there and... Um, um, we may uh, that 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 could be the only sort of downside to the horizon, really. Um, but we're, we're constantly reviewing what we do, we're literally on a week-to-week -week basis. We review everything we buy as to whether it's best to hold or sell, and we'll we've always done that, and that's what we'll continue to do. Well, brilliant to have your input here on Property Tribes TV and also on Property Tribes itself, Phil. You've got so much experience to share and it does add so much value to PT to have your contributions. So thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. And thanks to you and Nick. I really, I don't get as much time to be on PT as I'd like, but it's, it's a great resource. And I, every time I go on, I'm sure I learn something. So thank you very much for that. Thank you.